I'm heading to the supermarket, guys. I'm gonna go get some stuff for Dinden later. Ah! Sleeping policeman, that's what they call it, those humps in the road. All right, so I'll catch you inside. Price looks right. All right, we're gonna get this one. Of course, the two for five is all gone. going home and we're going to be making a squash bowl hi guys so we're back in the kitchen and the spaghetti squash is going to be the highlight of the day as you saw me take the biggest one out of the supermarket i don't know why i i bought the biggest one but here i go trial and error i'm gonna try to cut it in half so this is how we're gonna start out cut it in half just like so okay now i know it's not quite half don't come for me i'm going to give the biggest side to my husband okay so <laughs> you go ahead and you're going to grab your spoon and scoop out the inner part of the squash now this one here is your spaghetti squash all right and i am going to be making a spaghetti squash bowl so here we go scoop it out nice and clean get it really scooped out you can't cook it with the seeds guys just scoop it out all right and then it's going to look a little something like this okay so now go ahead and grab a baking tray and a can of pam you're going to take your pam and you're going to spray your baking tray with the pam Let me just move those out of the way. So go ahead, spray your baking tray. Get it all nice. Then as for the squash, you're gonna be using the oil, but not right now, okay? I'm going to season the squash a little bit. Just um, adding a little salt and pepper to taste. You don't have to if you don't want to, but for me, uh, a little salt and pepper. You know, as Caribbeans, we got to season up a little bit, right? <laughs> Everything I for season right. Okay, so salt, pepper. Place them on the pan just a little bit, and we're going to drizzle some oil over the spaghetti squash just wash my hands real quick all right there we go so now you're going to get your oil and just drizzle it over the face of the squash don't go too crazy just drizzle on a little dabble do ya now you're going to turn them on their face all right, don't cook them up. Turn them face down and put them in the oven at 350 for one hour. So now here's my chicken and here's my asparagus and I have a scallion. I know I started out the video with ground beef. I decided to change from ground beef and do the chicken instead. All right, so I'm using chicken breast today. Boy, things are expensive in the supermarket lately, huh, ladies, guys? Oh, my goodness. All right, so taking 
put your chicken in a bowl and you're going to make sure you wash it really good. I wash mine with lemon, sometimes with vinegar, sometimes with vinegar and lemon. It depends on your, your washing technique. My technique is to use lime for right now. It's just a breast. Okay, so give it a good wash. Get all in there. There is no right or wrong <laughs> in how long you take to wash it. Just wash it really well. So now I'm going to take off like the little fatty parts that don't belong. All right. And we're going to take the breast and cut it up into bite size. Bite size so it can fit nice and neat inside your spaghetti squash once it comes out of the oven. Now don't forget to set your timer on your squash, okay? You're going to bake them for one hour. If they're smaller, let's do 45 minutes if your squash is smaller. So in the meantime on the stove, I have my oil heating up to fry the chicken breast. And right now I'm just going to prepare it. We're going to season it now and we're going to be adding garlic. Black pepper. And of course, you know me, cayenne pepper. <laughs> All right. Don't tell anybody. I use the steak seasoning as well. Okay. <laughs> A little salt. And there's the steak seasoning. <laughs> I threw that in as well. All right, now let's give it a whirl. Okay. Incorporate all that seasoning. Make the breasts nice. Get it all ready. Just wash my hand for a little bit. All right, so here's my skillet. I told you the oil was heating while I was doing that. I try not to use too much oil. Um, I'm really trying to make the breast cook in its own juices eventually. So now we're going to just place the breast into your skillet. Like so. And you're just going to fry them up a bit, turn them, make sure they're going to be cooking evenly. Okay. Add the whole thing in there. It looked like it wasn't much, but trust me, it was a lot of meat. It's just my husband and I, and this is a lot of meat, and he's a meat lover. <laughs> All right, turn your stove to like a medium heat. You don't want anything to burn and you want the juices from the breast to come out nice and slow. So let's cover the pot, adjust our temperature, and let's go work on some side seasonings for later. So in a bowl, I'm going to be putting some thyme, one habanero pepper, and I'm going to be using red bell pepper and yellow bed pepper. I'm just going to use half of the pepper or three quarters of the pepper, I should say, because like I said, it's just a chicken breast making a little bowl and I'm not going to go crazy using all this pepper. So you cut up your pepper like so. Take the seeds out, save the seeds, your choice. Either way, it's not going to make it any hotter or, you know, so. I'm checking in on um, our chicken again. It's looking good. Let's cut up the red bell pepper. Do the same. Check back in on the chicken. See how it's in its own juices right there. Looks good. All right, let's turn it a bit. Mmm, 
smells so good, guys. I tell you, it smells divine up in here. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that chicken breast. Okay, so now we're going to take our spicy honey barbecue sauce and put it on top of the chicken breast. And I did go ahead and add just a little more water to the chicken breast because now we're creating gravy. So I would say about a half cup of water. Don't go crazy with the water. Just a little bit enough to make your gravy. And those peppers and thyme and onion that we just cut up, we're going to go ahead and incorporate that into our gravy. Now doesn't that look colorful and nice? Look at that. I like fresh thyme. If you like the one in the packet, you can go ahead and use the one in the packet. But being Caribbean, we always use fresh thyme. And when the meal is cooked, you can go ahead and take them out. Because of course the stems are gonna be in there, the leaves have fallen off and such. So adjust your heat again, make it just a little bit lower. And we're gonna have the peppers cook al dente. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Our chicken is ready. Cover it. There we go. <laughs> now, let's go work on our asparagus. All right. So, we're going to grab those and wash them. Wash them really well. You never know. Well, let's see. I'm not going to use the whole bag. Uh, this much is enough. So I put them in a bowl, give them a good washing, and now you're going to cut um, the ends off, you know, the part as, that's been sitting in the water in the supermarket, and this one came in a bag, so it wasn't sitting in the water, but anyways, the end of the asparagus. I don't know, I like asparagus, but... It doesn't go down well for me when I try to swallow it, but mm, it's, uh, I'm going to try them anyways. I, I like them in the oven, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So you cut off the ends like so, guys. All right, then you're going to get your cookie sheet again with the Pam. Spray it on and lay out your asparagus. All right, so lay them out like so. This is going to be a nice little meal. It's nice, it's healthy. That's why I'm saying don't put too much uh, spam, oil, all that. Just uh, least. A little dab will do ya. You know that saying? So here's the oil. Here it comes. And we're just going to drizzle on a little oil. Like so. And I'm going to take these and place them in the oven for 15 minutes. Or until you feel like they have um, cooked well enough for you. For me, 15 minutes will do. Back to the chicken. Mmm. All done. Looks good. And here is our squash. Baked asparagus. And now we flipped the squash over. We added the chicken in the center and we're going to now put cheese on top because as you know, everything tastes better with cheese, right? <laughs> so put your spaghetti squash in the microwave for 10 seconds to nuke the cheese and there you have it, spaghetti squash bowl. Enjoy Jackie style squash bowl. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And welcome again to my new subscribers. Bye.